تُعَطِّ جسمك الساعات نحتا وتدعو كالمنون دعاء صدق ألا يا صاح أنت أريد أنت أراك تحب عرسا ذات خدر أبت طلاقها الأكياس بتا تنام الدهر ويحك في غطيط بها حتى إذا مت انتبهتا فكم ذا أنت مخدوع وحتى متى لا ترعوي عنها وحتى أبا بكر دعوتك لو أجبت إلى ما فيه حظك لو عقلت إلى علم تكون به إماما مطاعا إن نهيت وإن أمرت ويجلو ما بعينك من غشاها ويهديك السبيل إذا ضللت وتحمل منه في ناديك تاجا ويكسوك الجمال إذا عريتا ينالك نفعه ما دمت حيا ويبقى ذكره لك إن ذهبتا هو العضب المهند ليس ينبو تصيب به مقاتل من أردتا وكنز لا تخاف عليه لصا خفيف الحمل يوجد حيث كنت إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أمهات المؤمنين وعلى من اتبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam I'm your host Kareem Abu Zaid and this is another edition of welcoming the month of Ramadan which is in almost uh, three weeks brothers and sisters in Islam uh the broadcast is uh, uh live uh, for questions and answer uh, preferably uh, on uh, getting ready for ramadan inshallah uh, meanwhile bi ta'ala i will try to present uh, certain uh, elements which are uh, important uh, to prepare us for the month of Ramadan uh, but until this happens if I uh, kindly can ask uh, someone to try our phone lines uh, that is 303-500-5101 that would help inshallah uh, meanwhile brothers and sisters in Islam if you cannot call uh, go ahead and, and post your questions on uh, on the chat, uh, on uh, uh, the uh, sections uh, of YouTube and the comment on Facebook page. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alaikum assalam warahmatullahi Brother Adan, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah. So the voice is, uh, is uh, clear, alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair, Brother Adan, barakallah feek. Wa alaikum assalam. So uh, let us now uh, be prepared here, get ready inshallah for the, uh, your questions and answer. Let me just do a couple of fixing here. So the screen is uh, looking better. Okay, we looking good. Uh, so could not hear Adan, uh, cannot hear Adan. I wonder why uh, on TV. So we gotta make sure that this is uh, fine. So uh, can we try again then, inshallah, if if it didn't go well? Uh, can we try again uh, one phone call just to make sure that everything is going well? Uh, according to my setting, everything is the same. Uh, microphone is uh, Yati. Okay, Yati microphone. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. So, can you hear me now? Uh, your father is saying cannot hear me. Okay, can hear cannot hear him on TV. 
So you're, he's saying we cannot still, I can hear you, but cannot hear him on TV. So just keep, uh, keep with me here until we figure this out. Uh, why? Uh, okay, let me see here. Skype reference. I wonder why we cannot do that. Okay. Let me see. Uh, what about now? Can we, uh, can you hear, uh, can you ask uh, your father if he can hear us now? Everything is, is yeah. normal. Can, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me, guys? Okay. Okay, yes. now he can. Jazakallah khairan, barakallah feekum, alhamdulillah. Okay, uh, we're ready to take your questions. Uh, let me see if we have any questions in the broadcast here. And uh, give us a call. Inshallah, we have Muhammad Hassan Ali. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Muhammad. How are you doing? Uh, let me see here. Uh, the straight path. Assalamu uh, alaikum, ayah. 74 Sheikh and your team may Allah reward you abundantly. Jazakallah khair watching from Philippines. Alhamdulillah. Uh, brother Abu Bakr Muhammad, wa alaikum salam Abu Bakr, sister Shira from Sri Lanka. Uh, Sheikh, can you please make some clarification on the 15th of Sha'ban? When is the 15th of Sha'ban? That's a very good question. We can start with that, inshallah. So, the 15th of Sha'ban is a very good question and it's timely. Uh, inshallah, we'll start that with uh, the question and answer, inshallah. Uh, that is uh, coming from uh, Sister Noura Rashid Ali, uh, Noor uh, Muhammad Hassan. We have uh, three weeks left until Ramadan, that is true. Uh, Fadi, assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Can you please uh, talk about showing that uh, the Muslim uh, 21 years old in grocery. Yeah, I will shed light on that, but there is nothing to say really uh, that is wrong. Uh, 100% uh, Shiraf. Sheikh Dr. Mustafa Khattab in Canada has put out a tafsir book for non Muslims, free. Uh, a non Muslim friend of mine. Uh, is asking if this book is authentic. Uh, let me look at his uh, tafsir. I will let you know. I heard that uh, I got a couple of questions. I will let you know, inshallah. But please remind me, Sister Sharaf, uh, our brother Islam, uh, who visited us recently, how are you? Uh, good to have you, mashallah. Jazakallah uh, khair, Jazakallah khair. Islam, it was Ismail, I'm sorry, it was a pleasure. Uh, Visiting us here in Colorado, Hamza, wa alaikum salam. Uh, I could not hear the caller, okay, I think we fixed that. Farah, uh, uh, can we read Quran when in our period in Ramadan? That's a good question. Uh, we'll answer that, inshallah, uh, from the phone, but the answer is yes, you can. Uh, we cannot see you, we cannot see me, okay, uh, I hope you guys can see me now. Uh, Muhammad al-Sharif. Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa salam. Yes, uh, name, state, and question, please. Uh, so, my name is Waji. I'm from uh, Ontario, Canada. Okay. And, um, my question was, um, my younger brother and I were um, uh, unsure about something. We have a inbuilt washroom into the room, and um, so if we leave the door open, are we still allowed to play, like pray in the room that itself, or does the door to the washroom have to be closed? The door, what again to the uh, to the bathroom? You mean? Yeah, so it's like, it's like my bedroom, and uh, we have an inbuilt um, like the washroom is inside the bedroom. So if the Bathroom door is left open. Where is, we pray inside yeah, the bedroom. Yeah, where is, where is the Qibla? The Qibla, where is the Qibla? Um, the Qibla is facing like the it, bathroom? No, it's facing away from the bathroom. So it's in the other side. No, you don't have to do that. Jazakallah khairan. Oh, you don't have to do that uh, as long as the Qibla is on the other side. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, I'm glad you're back. Muhammad Ashaif, Kaif Halak, Kaif Halak Muhammad, Jazakallah khair for asking. Uh, 
فرح يو كان هير يو اوكي هاو دو يو نن عرب ليرن عربي اي دون نو Arabic is a language that anybody can learn. Uh, okay. Nadja, mashaAllah, alaykum salam. Abu Bakr, uh, it is good. Iman, yes, we can. Milad, uh, alaykum salam, Milad. Jade, do you have video lectures, story about Sarah, wife of Ibrahim? Yes, I do have. Yes, uh, Jade. Uh, um, uh, something related to Hajj, whether it is the story of Hajj or any of that, inshallah. But I do have a whole lecture about uh, the test Sarah faced. Uh, do you pay zakah on kids saving uh, Milad? That's a good question. Uh, kids saving uh, zakah. The answer is yes, until I get to the details, inshallah, because zakah is on the wealth, uh, Milad, is not on the taklif has nothing to do, to do like salah for example you have to be sane you have to be a muslim you have to be um of course the guy have to be a muslim as well you have to be sane you have to be puberty uh but the uh zakah is on the wealth and those who are in charge of the children are obliged to pay zakah on that wealth uh, as long as the wealth reaches the nisab uh, the minimum uh, or more, then the money is zakatable. Uh, of course, the children are not accountable because they are still young. Uh, but uh, when they grow old, uh, I'm sorry, the, the people, who, the, the elders who are in charge of them, they are responsible for paying their uh, zakat. Uh, if someone curses in Ramadan, uh, is his fasting uh, broken? No, it is not. It is not broken. Uh, but he is sinful. Uh, because uh, uh, the Prophet mentioned that you should have good character when you are uh, fasting. Uh, but the fasting still valid. Wa alaykum salam, Brother Muhammad, imposter. Is that, yes, that's a question and answer. We prefer Ramadan tonight. Is hadith about the two Eids authentic? What do you know about uh, what do you mean by the two Eid Nasir? Uh, like Allah has exchanged uh, you Muslims with two days, uh, Eid al-Adha Eid al-Fatr. Is that what you mean? Yeah, the hadith is authentic. Hadith Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu anhu. Uh, any tips in learning uh, Fusha Arabi? Oh, we can just uh, uh, email us and we'll connect you with somebody that who can help you. Uh, email us here, uh, uh, Hamza, inshallah, here's the email address uh, right here and we can help you, inshallah. We'll connect you, inshallah, with, with, with a specialist in this regard, inshallah. Uh, does the verse in Surah Al-Baqarah 286, uh, where it says, no burden uh, on us, make a mistake, and so uh, does uh, uh, the same thing applies to shirk? Uh, first of all, um, oh, uh, I see what you mean here. Uh, so the, uh, the verse لا لها ما كسبت وعليها ما كسبت. This is what you're referring to, right? Uh, basically, you're only held accountable uh, for what you do with your limbs. Uh, so how will it apply to shirk if somebody uh, invokes, uh, you know, another deity or somebody uh, has reverence for another uh, deity? Uh, it would be a little bit uh, not applicable here. Um, the, the story of this, uh, of these three verses at the end of Surah Al-Baqarah that initially were held accountable for our thoughts, for the insinuation of shaitan, for what goes through inside our chest. Uh, now, uh, the companions felt this is a little bit much. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed uh, the following two verses to abrogate uh, this particular uh, ruling and uh, to state that you're only held accountable for what you do with your limbs. Um, right? So whatever you do with your limbs, whether it is uh, 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 a sin, whether it is a bid'ah, whether it is shirk, is uh, counted. Uh, you're being held accountable. Uh, the whole thing has to do with uh, with not uh, being accountable for the thought. Hopefully it's clear. Uh, Ismail, alhamdulillah, I'm glad you like the voice now, Ismail. Uh, Sharjil, wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
I love your du'a, Sharjeel. Please keep making it. We need this du'a. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, name, state, and question, please. Caller? Hello? Somehow we lost you. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. So please call us again. Uh, so uh, we said Brother Sharjeel is going to keep making this dua for us. It's a beautiful dua. Amin, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Rab, Ya Rab. Uh, Abu Sufyan, uh, Milad. Jazakallah khair, Abu Sufyan. Uh, okay, Madhu Juba. I have to read that. Uh, I'm 26 years old who want to study the religion. I'm now studying the Quran. Uh, just finished uh, Surah Fussilat. Uh, from Nas, but my job is uh, a call center. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, I can hear you now. Your name and question, please. Uh, uh, my name is Mohammed Daoud. I'm calling from New York City. Okay, Mohammed, any question? Uh, my question is about there's two types of ways to call some. There's the sufficient way, and then there's the Recommended way, correct? Right, right. And so if you do also the sufficient way, which is to put water all over you and to stiff the water, I mean to rinse the water and to stiff the water, correct? After the after you pour yourself? Yeah, provided you have the intention for also, right? So then you after agree. that and we oxon and then when we when oh, when we break when we are back in the state of mind and impurity, two wet uh, the connection is not very good, Muhammad. I'm, I'm hardly hearing you. I don't know why. Uh, okay, wait, okay. Wait. Let's say we do go through the sufficient way. Okay. Right? Put our socks. Are we allowed to wipe, or do we have to take the socks off and do all do and then put our socks on and then wipe afterwards? So you made wudu. You had an intention, and you went under the shower, and you had every part of you, uh, uh, you know, being wet uh, or uh, covered with water, and then you came out. That's the ritual bath, correct? You did it. Yeah. Right? Well, and then you put your socks on. Yeah. My, and then after you, you yeah. know, you, oh, you, you, you defecate, can you wipe over the socks where you, where you perform your wudu? Okay. Why did you do the ghusl? For what? Was it voluntary ghusl or mandatory ghusl? Let's begin from there. It was for the voluntary ghusl. Voluntary ghusl. Mandatory. Then, then the voluntary, you, voluntary, voluntary, voluntary. Oh, voluntary ghusl. Then you have to make wudu after that. And once you make wudu and you come out of the shower, so after you finish your ghusl, you make wudu, you come out, you put your socks on, and you start wiping from so, uh, next time. Next time you make wudu. You can't do sufficient ghusl and then wipe over your socks. You, you can, you so can, you, you can, but you have, wudu. I think you can, but you have to make wudu before or after. Okay? Jazakallah khaira. Connection is really bad, Muhammad. If, so I think your question is, you see, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, pay, pay attention to this and we explain this and let's pray the Prophet's way that if you're doing a voluntary ghusl, uh, is not to left the major ritual impurity, then uh, you have to make sure that you make wudu before or after uh, for the ghusl to take the place of wudu. For that ghusl to count as wudu. If you're doing the mandatory ghusl, which is the lifting of the major ritual impurity, uh, the ghusl takes over the wudu. Now, you can relieve yourself completely from all of this by doing ghusl this way. You make wudu, excluding your feet. You uh, basically mix ghusl with wudu at the same time. Uh, hopefully this is clear, Brother uh, Muhammad. Okay, call center. Uh, I want to quit and dedicate one year to learn Quran and later Arabic and look for a job again. I'm afraid I'm making the wrong move. Well, um, so our brother uh, Madhu uh, Juba, 
Uh, he's 26 years old. He really want to be uh, a learned person in Islam. He started with memorizing the Quran, and the, uh, he's planning to carry on. Uh, but he works in a, a call center. Um, he he's contemplating the idea of quitting uh, and uh, dedicating himself completely to. Uh, the knowledge and he's asking whether this is the right uh, decision or not. It all depends on uh, how will you provide for yourself? How will you provide for yourself and who's providing for you? Uh, you know, you have to make sure that uh, you are earning a living uh, if there is nobody else, I believe, 26 years old, so you uh, you're responsible for your provision, and if you're married, you have to provide for your family. So if you have money saved that can sustain you for a whole year, uh, with a minimum, by the way, people who seek knowledge, uh, they normally have to stick to a minimum. Uh, then this is good, inshallah. Uh, if not, then just keep doing what you're doing, memorize and learn as you work. Uh, is doing adhkar after every voluntary prayer bid'ah. Um, there is no adhkar after, I mean, a, a designated adhkar. A designated adhkar, like the designated adhkar which we do after the mandatory salah. Astaghfirullah, 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 Allahumma anta salam, wa minka salam. But if you end up, uh, you know, uh, observing voluntary salah, and you sit and you do any adhkar that you want, but there is no structured, designated adhkar. You should not designate certain adhkar after these voluntary salahs. You should just make adhkar in general if you feel like making adhkar. Uh, farah, what is the last time to read Fajr salah? Before the sunrise. The moment the sunrise, uh, Fajr is gone. Uh, is it true uh, that Allah asked every soul before they were born if they wanted to go to earth and be tested? Well, um, Allah asked us uh, whether, uh, first of all, uh, the verses are in Surah Al-A'raf. Uh, I think I know what you what you mean. Uh, maybe the wording is not accurate, uh, but the verses are in Surah Al-A'raf. وَإِذَا أَخَذَ رَبُّكَ مِنْ بَنِي آدَمَ مِنْ ظُهُورِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ وَأَشْهَدَهُمْ عَلَى أَنفُسِهِمْ أَلَسْتُ بِرَبِّكُمْ قَالُوا بَلَى شَهِدْنَا uh, Hadith Abdullah ibn Abbas رضي الله عنهما في uh, تفسير هذه الآية uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas explained this verse في سنن الإمام النسائي that Allah سبحانه وتعالى right uh, on the uh, back of our father Adam and he extracted uh, every uh, offspring who will be born until the day of judgment أمثال uh, الضر we look like small uh, lights you know small uh, shiny uh, and he asked us am I your Lord we said yes you are our Lord um, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established his lordship uh, upon us. Uh, there was another, uh, uh, you know, conversation that Allah offered the heavens and the earth and the mountains, the, uh, the trust, which is the amana, which is the, uh, the ability to distinguish right from wrong and uh, willingly pick uh, 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 the right way, uh, go the right way. Uh, you, you, you know, you're able to know what is right from what is wrong, uh, whether uh, through your fitrah, if it is not corrupt yet, uh, or uh, if the fitrah is corrupt through the revelation, through the Quran and Sunnah, the guidance which comes down from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you willingly choose to go the right way. This is what is il amana. So those are the two things. Uh, I think you, you mean the second one, uh, brother uh, or sister imposter. Can you give me the video link for Sarah? Uh, uh, Brother Ismail, if you can give him the story or her, Jade, the story of Hajj, the story of Hajj. Uh, I think I have khutbas and I have a TV show series that I did with Huda TV uh, in the middle there. Uh, 
uh, I think there are uh, seven of them, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or ten of them, uh, uh, you can, inshallah, uh, post it to the uh, Jade. Uh, RKL, wa alaykum salam, on poster, yes, wa alaykum salam. Uh, Hamza for Taraweeh, can we pick how many prayers we can pray, uh, or it is strictly uh, 20? Uh, actually, it is uh, 11 rakas and uh, 8 and 3. That is what Taraweeh uh, is. Uh, that is the correct opinion, but uh, I would follow the Imam. Uh, when you pray, you should follow the Imam. Uh, because uh, the Prophet وسلم, mentioned that whoever uh, observes Salatul Layl until the Imam is done, he will leave forgiven. So you don't want to lose that. So even if the Imam prays tw 20 rakahs, uh, stay with the Imam. But uh, it's preferably you, you pick a masjid where uh, they observe uh, uh, 11 rakahs, insha'Allah. What should I advise a new Muslim for their first Ramadan? Uh, rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do your best and let them know that in the middle of the day if they cannot continue on Alhamdulillah they may break their fast and make up the day later on inshallah but if they cannot continue on like they fainting they they uh, losing consciousness and uh, or they are severely uh, affected which I doubt it which I doubt it uh, even if you did unknowingly, I don't know what that means. Uh, is it permissible to fast all the day of Sha'ban, all the days of Sha'ban? Uh, it is, but not the days of Shek. Uh, the one or two days before Ramadan, in between uh, Sha'ban and Ramadan, uh, you shouldn't. You should refrain from doing uh, that, uh, especially the day uh, when they um, have not. Uh, decided whether it is a day of Ramadan or a day of Sha'ban. Uh, imposter it is. Okay. Najda, uh, I owe student loans. I will pay only what I owe, but they add interest. I will ruin my credit. If I don't pay interest, I live abroad. If they cannot uh, force me to pay interest, be uh, ruined credit. Uh, it's your call, but I would advise you to call them and make a deal with them, insha'Allah. Uh, okay, uh, I think we answered uh, Brother uh, Madhu. Uh, oh man, I don't think the Sheikh understood my question. Uh, imposter, I did not understand your question, then help me understand your question. I hope I made choice, insha'Allah. I hope I need the right choice, insha'Allah. Najda, uh, I don't know what choice here. My question was someone to commit shirk unknowingly. Will they be still hold accountable for I like Surah Al-Baqarah? No, you see, uh, imposter, in Islam, pay attention to this. In Islam, uh, the uh, if a person commits an act of shirk, the act is act of shirk. You get that? So let's use that invoking the dead business, that someone goes to the cemetery and he invokes the dead. The act is act of shirk, which takes a person out of Islam. But now, in Islam, we separate between the act and the doer. So what is the verdict on the act? What? Shirk. That takes out of Islam. And whoever does this act is a mushrik who goes out of the fold of Islam. We call this what? Takfir mutlaq, unrestricted takfir. The declaration of unrestricted apostasy. Unrestricted, meaning whoever does something, he's a mushrik, he's a kafir, he's a muftada. But now, to identify someone and accuse him of the act and implement 
the um, associated rulings with that, like declare him not a Muslim. Uh, we cannot inherit him if we are his children. We cannot pray janazah on him if he dies. We cannot bury him in a Muslim cemetery if, if he dies. If he is married to a Muslim woman, we have to separate between them, right? To apply these rulings, you understand? And I think that's where this guy, Qadi, confused the, the people, and he's playing the game. You see, uh, we have to remove one, two, three, four things. We have to remove ignorance, like you mentioned right here, unknowingly. Also, we have to remove wrong knowledge. The scholars called it faulty interpretation. al التأويل. Imagine at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I'm sorry, at the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, one of the leaders of the provinces, I, I can't remember, but somewhere in Oman, somewhere in, 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 in the Arabia, Peninsula, he drank, drank alcohol. He consumed alcohol. And he led the Salah. So they asked him, what are you doing? He said, there is nothing wrong with that. I read the Quran. So they brought him to Omar. So Omar asked him, what's going on here? He said, uh, Ya Amir al muminin the verse in Surah Al-Ma'idah, which comes right after the banning of alcohol, the verse actually comes right after إِنَّمَا الْخَمْرُ وَالْمَيْسُرُ وَالْأَنصَابُ وَالْأَزْلَامُ وَالْإِجْزُ مِنْ عَمَلِ الشَّيْطَانِ فَاجْتَنِبُوا الْخَمْرُ وَالْمَيْسِرُ وَالْأَنصَابُ وَالْأَزْلَامُ لَيْسُ مِنْ عَمَلِ الشَّيْطَانِ فَاجْتَنِبُوا كَمْزِ لَيْسَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ جُنَاحٌ فِي مَا طَعِمُوا إِذَا مَا اتَّقَوْا وَآمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ ثُمَّ اتَّقَوْا وَآمَنُوا ثُمَّ اتَّقَوْا وَأَحْسَنُوا وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Those who believe and act righteously, they are not held accountable for what they eat or drink as long as they maintain their righteousness and piety. That's how he understood the verse. <laughs> that as long as you're righteous, that's how, that's his understanding. We call this what? Faulty interpretation. If somebody is invoking the dead out of, because he heard someone like Yasser Qadi, someone like Gandhi, someone like Brave Baby, whatever they are, something like Habib Jeffrey, whatever, whoever they, they, they are there, these, these people, huh? someone who has been a, 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 a layman and listening to them all the time. This is why, by the way, Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, they don't label the, uh, the, the, the Shia, uh, the, the, the general public of the Shia. Uh, they, we, don't, we don't call them kuffar because they are victims of faulty interpretation. So we call this what? Knowledge. Knowledge, whether he's totally ignorant or whether he, like the man, you know, the, the man before he died, he asked his children to burn him, then smash his bones. This man thinks like many progressive Muslims now that when you burn your body or when your body is eaten by fish, how will you be punished in the grave? How will Allah will bring you back? Many Muslims think like that. Uh, you see, this man thought that if he uh, distribute his ashes into earth and into the sea, Allah is not going to be able to bring him back. Ta'wil. Guess what? That saved him. This man went to Jannah at the end. Even though uh, he believed that Allah is unable to bring him back. Uh, Ankar al-Ba'ath. He denied the resurrection. Imagine that. One of the pillars of Islam, one of the pillars of, 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 of Iman, al-Akhirah, Iman al-Akhirah. But uh, what I'm trying to say is, no, he is not guilty until we establish uh, the other two is being forced, like Ammar ibn Yasir. If I do not go to the grave and do like everybody, they will kill me if I want to save my life. As long as my heart is comfortable with Iman, with faith, right? So we can do that too. You're getting that. So, uh, uh, also, al-Nisyan, 
out of forgetfulness. That is why we use those two words, willful intention and knowledge, those two. Willfully, knowingly. We have to make sure that those four conditions are fulfilled before we point finger and associate the shirki act to a mushrik. Join the doer with the, with, with the act. You're getting that. And that is where, where Yasser Qadi is playing with, with, with this. Uh, you see, he, he, he's, he, you know, that stuff will sell to laymen Muslims, but not to people who know their religion. Uh, you, you see, I don't care what's in his heart there. This is between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You understand that whether he believes this is dua or whether he believes the engraved is his uh, is uh, are, are uh, attributed with divinity or not, that's his business. But for me, as a Muslim doing this, and someone is doing this in front of me, what is the ruling on this person? That's what we need to understand, brothers and sisters in Islam. It is extremely important in Islam to identify the person. Is he a Muslim or not? That's important. Is he a kafir, a non-Muslim or not? Is he a munafiq or not? You know, you understand that? So you need to do that definition in order to deal with the people in the outside. But what's in their hearts in what's in their hearts. Okay, I hope this is clear, imposter. Jazakallah uh, khair, brother Abdul Aziz. Hafizakallah wa hafadaka wa wassa alayka fi rizqika wa baraka fi. Ahsan Allah ilayka, akhi barakallah fi. Yes, guys, the guy who did it was a Muslim. It is so sad. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, um, uh, here, uh, don't burden us if we make a mistake. Uh, I think I explained that. Okay, some people are saying the guy, uh, well, to uh, I don't know, uh, guys, what are you talking about? Don't engage into this. This is wrong. Uh, whether he's a Muslim or not, whether he's a practicing Muslim or not, this is absolutely wrong. And this act uh, is not uh, condoned by the teachings of Islam whatsoever. Uh, whether he is a Muslim, whether he is not a Muslim, uh, taking the life of another human being without a just cause, and the only just cause out there is uh, uh, someone who is combating you in a declared battleground, uh, not in a king super, uh, you know, uh, then uh, anything else is haram, brothers and sisters in Islam, and leave this alone, inshallah. Uh, sometimes a lot of questions through the sheikh goes through them fast. Okay, there is a video uh, of him killing the people should... Okay, let's just move on here. What is the view on wanting, seeking knowledge and parents won't let us? I don't think Anis or Anisa or whoever it is, uh, they can control that. If you want to seek knowledge, no one can stop you from seeking knowledge. Uh, brother, may Allah bless you as well. Uh, Najda, I am grateful for this opportunity to ask a question. I'm so grateful. Alhamdulillah, may Allah reward you, Najda. Uh, guys, stop talking about the. Okay, we, we're done with that. Abu Daniel, Sheikh, since you live in Colorado, did you ever shop at the grocery store? Yes, I shop at the grocery store and I walk in there and I. Uh, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, Every person has a time, you know. Uh, nothing shall befall you unless something that Allah wrote upon you. Uh, that is the attitude of a believer, yeah. Uh, may Allah forgive me. Uh, I wouldn't say it uh, like that. Uh, yani I wouldn't really say, uh, announce that. Why are you announcing that? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now. This is Saad from Georgia. Yes, Saad. Uh, the question I have for you today is uh, if you're driving in a car 
and like you're you're getting close to like a, the end of a prayer, can you solely in the car or why can't you stop you Saad? Why you cannot stop and pray? If you're in a situation where um, uh, like you, you don't have a like you can't park or something like you're in traffic or something like that. Are you, I mean, are you just supposed to pray? Like, really, my wife wants to ask you, like, because a woman is not as easy to just stop on the side of the road and pray. Then she road. can, then she can pray sitting down in uh, in in her car. Uh, this is a sister. We're talking about a sister. But a brother, he must try yeah, yeah. to find a place where he can pray. He can stand up praying, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. So yeah, they should. She, she can, she can. Yeah, they should. Yes, sir. They should now. Barakallah so, so they should do that rather than pay, pray later, right? Right. Jazakallah khair. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum assalam. My name is Abdullah. I'm calling from Canada. I have a question. Since Ramadan is coming up and uh, we need to purify our hearts, what's the best zikr to say to purify our hearts and purify our nafs? And to make sure where uh, our hearts are pure. Yeah, this is my khutbah next Friday, inshallah. Maybe uh, I will shed a lot of light on this. But the first thing that you need to do is tawbah. Uh, tawbah. Yeah, brother Abdullah, tawbah. And uh, uh, you see, uh, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that just living until the next Ramadan will expiate your sins uh, committed in between, uh, provided that you avoid the major sins. So now what you have to do is you have to repent from the major sins. And for you to repent from the major sins, you have to go through uh, two stages. Stage number one is knowing what a major sin is. Stage number two, identifying it. And that requires calling yourself to account what you have done throughout the year. Now, as long as, uh, uh, as uh, 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 regarding uh, identifying the major sins, uh, there are certain criteria. But, uh, you know, just for the sake of time, Abdullah ibn Abbas mentioned that um, La Sabira. مع إصرار ولا كبيرة مع استغفار. There is no such a thing that you can call a minor sin when you insist on it. So if there is a sin out there that you keep doing consistently, you have to repent from that sin. Uh, or a sin which you committed but you did not uh, repent from, uh, you know, especially when it comes to the rights of others. So now, after doing that, you have to go through what? Uh, uh, the act of repentance. First of all, muhasaba, you have to check yourself out, uh, like scanning. So now you, you got the, the, the software, you know, the, 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 the spam, what's it called, that, uh, you know, to, to track the, 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 the viruses. Huh? Now you know how to track the virus. Now you run a scan throughout your, your, the year, and you identify your sins now. And now what you do is you repent from them. Uh, for repentance to be valid, you have to do it sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to uh, uh, regret doing it in the past, uh, abandon doing it now, uh, vow not to come back to it. Uh, if the uh, sin uh, engages the rights of other people, you must return it and you must do it in the right time before dying for the tawbah to be accepted. So this is once it comes to sins. There is another side which is the purification of the nafs. Uh, hopefully khutbah al-jum'ah will help you inshallah, uh, Abdullah. Jazakallah khair, barakallah khair. Okay, jazakallah, jazakallah. Wa iyaakum. Uh, Abu Bakr Muhammad is saying, uh, growing up, uh, uh, I was taught uh, that the month of Sha'ban is like the Sunnah. Yeah, it is, that is true. Uh, that is what the Prophet Abu Bakr meant by a lot of people don't pay attention to this month because it's supposed to uh, help you uh, be there for Ramadan. This is the month when you uh, train recitation of the Quran, uh, maybe extend the Salah time a little bit like the 
portions that you need so that when you stand in taraweeh later on you can afford it uh, and so forth. Yes. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can you talk to me from the phone please? Phone. Um, So I wanted to inquire about um, how uh, we can celebrate Eid. How to do what again? Celebrate Eid. Super Eid. Celebrate. Eid. Oh, how can you celebrate Eid? Eid al-Fatr or Eid al-Adha? I mean, what, what, which Eid are you are we talking about? Uh, are there different ways that you're supposed to celebrate them? Yeah, I mean, Other than the yeah, it depends. Yeah, it depends. Like, if it is Eid al-Fitr, you know, well, there are some standards for both, uh, but uh, they are distinguished, you know, with with the rituals, uh, uh, you know, the breaking of the fast and the slaughtering and and so forth. How old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, you 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 haven't observed any Eid before. I have. Um. Just. Not um, with uh, just not like a proper one. Okay, well, uh, your parents should learn how to, you know, have you enjoy it. It should be fun for you. Okay, Jazakallah khairan, barakallah fikum. Okay, uh, Farah uh, Diba is asking, does the Fajr time ends as soon as we see the first light? It ends when the sun rises, uh, Farah. Okay. And why do you have to wait until the actual time to pray Fajr? Okay, hang in there. Come on. Uh, what is the ruling of, or on, on marrying someone with a medical condition like cancer that uh, the doctor, this is Najda, that the doctor uh, may possibly come back and may lead the shorter life and doctors say likely uh, it will come back. It all depends on you. This is a personal decision. If this is something that you wanted to do and you want to be with that person, why not? I mean, Allah knows best who is going to live longer and who is going to live shorter. You could die before that person. So it all depends on the sacrifices you're willing to put uh, in order to be with that person. But remember, marrying someone with medical conditions, uh, this would charge you with, uh, you know, taking care of that person, like taking them to the doctor and... Uh, life is not going to be as normal as marrying someone who is not with these conditions. Dominatar, assalamu uh, alaikum. All one question, uh, Sheikh Karim. If a person missed his fast last year, how much does he have to pay? Uh, he has to make up the days, Dominatar. Dominator. Uh, dominator. <laughs> I don't like that name, by the way. That's, you know, ego thing. Uh, you have to make up the days. This is number one. Make up the days and repent. And make sure that you make up these days before fasting the next Ramadan. If you're someone with an excuse, meaning terminal illness, you cannot fast completely, then yes, we can talk about feeding one miskin for each day, one meal for each day. If you're an elder who is an, are unable to fast, uh, someone who's old but unable to fast, uh, then you have to do that, insha'Allah. Option, what, sh what should I advise a new Muslim for the first of Ramadan? I answer that. Take it easy. It's going to be fun. Everything is go good, insha'Allah. So if a Christian dies without knowing uh, he committed shirk, uh, do we call him kafir? That's a different That's a different thing. We're talking about Muslims here, okay? Uh, Abu Daniel, Siddiq, uh, bin Yusha, bin Thompson. No, 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 no. Uh, I think the nature of the brother, uh, he's talking about Muslims uh, indulging into shirk. Uh, but you, you just said that he's a Christian. I mean, that he's not a Muslim. Uh, so to begin with, who, uh, uh, you see, when you label uh, kafir, ya akhi, ya, uh, Abu Daniel, fi kafir asli, kafir kitabi, or kafir muhtad, those are three. Uh, inshallah, the, the book, uh, Worship of the Lord, is going to be having all of this. There is Kafir Asli, he was born a Kafir. What, what I mean here is, after the age of puberty, his parents took him to, to Kufr, okay? Because everybody is born a Muslim. Or uh, they took him to Judaism and Christianity. Kafir Kitabi, you call it Kafir Kitabi. So let's do a Kafir Asli, Kafir Kitabi. 
But there is the third type which the brother was asking about is in Muslim, in Murtad. Someone who is a Muslim and then he leaves Islam because of an act of shirk. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Najda, use your intellect. You don't need to ask. Okay, I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, option, he responds, you. Uh, Karama, mashallah. Hamza Abdu, we're doing okay with time. I think my admin will warn me, I know that. What to say to new Muslims who are confused about Islam because of all the devious sects? Ask Allah to guide you. Ask Allah to guide you. Brothers, sometimes we neglect this. You know that guidance comes from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And wallahi, this is having bad expectation First of all, bad thoughts about who Allah is and bad expectation from Allah. That here you are, you want to worship Allah alone with no partners, and you think Allah is going to let you down. Wallahi, no way. Wallahi, no way. No way. Allah is going to let you down. Allah is going to guide you. Fadu'a, ask Allah. Then look for people who say, Allah said, the Messenger said. Okay, when they teach, they always substantiate back their statement with evidence and they always call the uh, they say the prophet said allah said the sahabi said and all of this that is the people that you should look for don't sit in front of somebody who mumbles for three and a half hours and you hardly hear a verse from the quran you hardly hear qala rasulullah i'm not interested in your intellect buddy keep your intellect to yourself the the, the, the quran and sunnah is revelation from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala طيب uh, Anis, I did not know. وعليكم السلام. I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, the one. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. لا إله إلا الله. Beautiful. I like the way that you wrote it. Uh, Tawassul is not seeking, uh, is not asking on the on the dead. Okay. Farzan, A.K. Does Allah need dead person to answer your du'a? Look, look me into the eye. Look me into the eye. Does Allah need that? No. Allah doesn't need that. One day the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked him this question. أَقَرِيبٌ رَبُّنَا فَنُنَاجِيهِ أَمْ بَعِيدٌ فَنُنَاجِيهِ Is Allah near us so we call upon him quietly or he's far away so we yell loud? Allah revealed the verse. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاهِ إِذَا دَعَادٌ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ If they ask you about me, Allah did not say tell them, no, I'm near. I'm near. Number two, how do you know that this dead person you're using as a tawassul, as a wasila, Hears you. <laughs> yeah, ikhwa, we, we forget about that very, inshallah, this is all coming in the book, Worship Your Lord. You know, I'm starting with all these issues. You know, I, I just wrote today, mashallah, I really enjoy all, <laughs> all my research today. I, I'm enjoying it. Uh, uh, the, you need to understand that the, the matter whether the dead hear the living or not is not like settled. It's not settled. You, you understand that? So you go to somebody who's engraved, right? Do you know he hears you or not? This is if he hears you, he's going to benefit you. Huh? So, come on. It's a, it's a losing case. I tell you, Allah, it's a losing case. Oh, Najdi, 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 Najdi. For, leave the names alone, Farzad, and uh, think about the substance. You're calling to shirk, I'm calling to Tawheed. I'm calling to La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, and you're calling me to go and call a wounded person. So I will leave you to distinguish who's right and who's wrong, and keep Wahhabi away and keep Najdi away. Um, okay, uh, let me see now. It's clear the video and the audio. I don't know what that means, Farzan, no matter what. Doctors say only Allah knows how long anyone lives. 
that is true, yeah, true, who is the token, who is he talking about, I don't know, uh, Najda should not take risk, you can, uh, Sheikh, how can I pray for forgiveness, what other uh, thing that, astaghfirullah, 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 uh, my father passed away while believing in Sufism, but he never commented uh, me to do shirk. I make dua for him. Make dua, you never know. Make dua for him. Uh, Muhammad, make dua for him. All right? Uh, okay. Uh, I think I'm done here, right? Leon uh, is asking, what is Ramadan? Ramadan is the month when we fast. Yes, join us, fast this year. Should I complete reading the Quran a couple of times? I would rather read it with understanding one time. Okay? Uh, what is the ruling on becoming a police uh, officer in uh, the States in general? Uh, ask your local imam. Life is so depressing. No, it is fun. Life is fun. Life is fun. Uh, do you, do you know, uh, no, in, no in the life is boy. You know why it's depressing? Because your soul is hungry. And you gotta feed your soul the right substance, which is Islam, okay? Life is fun, life is fun. Life is fun when you use it to get the next life. That's when it's gonna be fun. When you do whatever you wanna do in order to inherit the everlasting life, when you never become depressed, you're high all the time. You're feeling good all the time. <laughs> okay, inshallah. Uh, alaikum. Mera, uh, I rather live a short life. Inshallah, the longer life is in Jannah, but you just need to become a Muslim, mashallah. Okay, uh, I think I'm done here, Sheikh. Uh, if one sponsors a widow family with the, uh, throughout the year, can you give them your zakah as well? Uh, yes, as long as they qualify, Sam, that they are poor. They are poor. Uh, they, or masakin, so they need, as long as they are needy and they qualify to receive zakat, you can give them the, the zakat, the sponsorship can come from the zakat, uh, inshallah. Uh, dominator, jazakallah khair, Ibrahim Hussain, salam alaikum shaykh, the two sunnah before fajr, we should read, qul, 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 ya ayuhal kafirun, qul huwa Allah wahad, yes. Or, qul huwa amanna billahi wa ma'unzil alayna, wa ma'unzil the verse in surah al-Baqarah, or, and the verse is, qul amanna billahi wa ma'unzil alayna. There are two similar verses, one in Al-Baqarah, one in Ala Imran. I don't remember the number, uh, the numbers, uh, but they have to do say to them, we believe in Allah and what was revealed to Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq, Isaac, Jacob, the Asbar, Musa, and Isa. Uh, two similar verses, one in Al-Baqarah in the first and uh, Ala Imran uh, in the second. Okay, guys, I have to go, inshallah, I have to go pray Isha. Uh, okay, you're going to join us. Please let us know. Uh, can you please, Brother Ismail, talk his, take his number, inshallah. Uh, no, in the life of the lifeless boy, inshallah, we're going to give you uh, the substance which is going to revive your soul. Uh, praying, uh, invoking Allah, your Creator, and knowing Him and calling upon Him, inshallah. We'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. We're going to have a, a question and answer session again tomorrow. Uh, إن شاء الله جزاكم الله خيرا سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والحمد لله رب العالمين قلت فؤادك الأيام فتى وتنحت جسمك الساعات نحتى وتدعوك المنون دعاء صدق ألا يا صاح أنت أريد أنت أراك تحب عرسا ذات خدر أبت طلاقها الأكياس بتا تنام الدهر ويحك في غطيط بها حتى إذا مت انتبهتا فكم ذا أنت مخدوع وحتى متى لا ترعوي عنها وحتى أبا بكر دعوتك لو أجبت إلى ما فيه حظك لو عقلت إلى علم تكون به إماما مطاعا إن نهيت وإن أمرت ويجلو ما بعينك من غشاها ويهديك السعى